This is the smallest Class A RV with two full baths. This is the 2024 Fleetwood Flex 32S. First, we're gonna show you the outside, and then the inside. I'll give you my pet peeve, Sherry's favorite feature, and then a build quality rating. So let's go. This has the 7.3 liter Ford V8 Godzilla engine, putting out 350 horsepower. Around the sides, we have your chrome mirrors with your rear view camera built into them. Doggy window. It's riding on 19 and a half inch tires. Here you have your outdoor television with stereo speakers. Below that, storage and your inverter awning which goes from the back of your front tire to the front of the back tire window over your door here is your propane tank as we move back there's your water fill more pass-through storage and unfortunately this one's locked there's your propane quick connect. Come on back. In the specs, this is an 8,000 pound hit. Rear view camera, and this comes with a half ladder. The other part of the ladder is in the storage bay. Black tank flush, and your city water intake. Fuel fill. More storage, and your surge guard is in there. I can't seem to open this. I believe that's the, yes, yeah, that should be your generator. And pass through storage. Let's take a look at the inside. The cargo carrying capacity of this vehicle is 4,645 pounds. Here as you come in, you have your light switches to the right as well as your inverter switch and your battery disconnect. Let's check out the front seat. The leveling switch is here. You have climate controls here. You have your touch screen for your nav here. And you have storage here and there. I, you know what I don't see? I don't see any extra screen for the cameras. I think the cameras are displayed on the same screen. So why don't you check out the passenger side? Sure thing, John. Can you see how comfortable this chair is first? Oh, surprising, isn't it? It's surprisingly soft. It's, it's quite comfortable. Uh, let's see what we have for the passenger here. We have, oh, this is nice, John. We have a storage area. You can put your devices in here, I guess. Paper, pens, if you still use that. Electronic equipment. And then, does this part come out as a desk? Yes, so I also have this that I can use as a the desk while we're on the road. Okay, John, how about you show us the rest of the coach? All right, well, let's start up here. Above the driver's area, we have three storage compartments that go all the way across. We have two netted compartments here with power. And then we have two smaller compartments with nets and you have matte lights underneath. Above my head is the high aloft bunk. Let's move to the dinette. Now this dinette folds down into a bed and it has storage underneath each side. And it's roomy enough for four. You have your television here and two windows that actually open. Hey John, one thing that I wanna share with everyone who's watching is that this dinette is on a slide and there is a step up to the slide as well. Yes, there is. Now, my favorite part, let's check out these. Here we go. They are manual. Oh, they're a little bit close. Yeah, is there a slide not out? No, nope. no, there's no slide this on the is right. It. So there's, there's a slide on the left. So my, my guess is that when you're traveling, if you close this thing up, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be very tight fit moving back. A little bit tight, but also I'm five six, and already my feet are touching this dinette. If you're any taller, you'll be resting your feet on the dinette. But they are comfortable, I'll say that. And behind here we have the uh, 110 USB and two windows that open. Hey John, I have a quick question for you. Going back to the dinette for a yeah. minute, is there are there seat belts there? Yes, yes. It has seat belts. There's one here. This 
Should be one over there. I'd have to take it apart a little bit to see. Uh, but back over here, we have these handy lights under here and this huge storage area where you have connections for peripherals for your TV glass. Moving back to the kitchen area, you have the, your deep sink, it's two sides. spray fixture. You do have a little bit of counter space to the rear of the sink. You and is there an outlet back there, John? Let's so see. So if you wanted to plug in appliances? Right here. Great. And you have lights right there. You have a three burner Dometic stove with an oven. Above that, we have a microwave. Below the sink, more storage. Also, your hot water cutoff. And on this side, you have three drawers, a 110 outlet, and your fan controls. Can you open up all those drawers so we can see what's sure. left on the inside? Okay, they're, they're very small. Are they oh, all that they small? Are. No. Okay, just the top one is very small. The top small. one is very small. The, the other two are, yes, the other two are larger. Okay. Why don't we change places so that we can finish the tour? Sure. And while we're changing places, if you're enjoying our content, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel, hit that like button, and put a comment down below. Okay, John, back to you. Let's finish the kitchen. We have a fairly large refrigerator. That's an insignia? Yes. Okay. Into the bath. Ah. My favorite spot, right? This is actually comfortable. Not just here, but at home, too. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll go into the shower really quickly here. It's a little bit of a step. Holy cow, that's a step. Yeah, it's a little bit of a step here. But that's because of the way that they run the plumbing in these. Yes, right? the floor that is lower on these than on the bigger ones. So, let's see. Oh, I didn't unlock it. Look at that. This is not too bad. It's, it's tight this way, though. But if, this way, it's fine. It's a little bit... I mean, I'm 5'6", so you get another foot, maybe. So you might be able to fit if you're a six-foot person. All right, so let's check out the uh, rest of the bathroom. You have your overhead cabinet over the toilet right there. Some storage next to the toilet, a little under sink storage, and a couple of cabinets right here next to there. Now, John, I think some folks are going to want to know whether or not that toilet is porcelain. Oh, let's see. It is. Okay. Come on out. All right. Here is your pantry. Now, do these pull out? Oh, no, these don't pull they out. They don't. They're mm -hmm. just shelves. Now, this bedroom has a door I'm not too fond of. It's a two-segmented door, but the thing is you still have a... Is that the door I got my hand caught in? Yes, it is. <laughs> so be very careful with this door, folks, if you're on this side of it. <laughs> yes, you did, unfortunately. We have in the, in the master bedroom, we have the television here over your escape exit window. You have a dresser here with six sizable drawers, a little counter space with a power supply there, USB and 110. You have two wardrobes. It goes all the way across. Oh, that's quite spacious, John. Yes, yes it is. You also have a table for up front, I see in there. Hey, John, it sounds like the salespeople outside are having a really good time. They're enjoying this, this show, I can tell you. They are After having... the tour, we should go check it out. Hey, they might have breakfast out there. Mmm. <laughs> I forgot my sandwich this morning. I know you did. We have a small four-drawer area under the wardrobe. On the other side of, is your bed with two nightstands on either side with power, 110 USB. Above it, we have reading lamps, light switch. Well, no, we don't. We have... I'm not sure what that is for, so forget it. We have, above this, we have reading lamps. 
We have storage that goes all the way through. And there are also two speakers under there. Now, John, is there a opening? Fleetwood usually puts the CPAP machines or a part, a, an area for CPAP machines up top in that shelving there. Right. Is there anything There up is there? not. Okay, so then you, if you have a CPAP, you're limited to the space that's here? Yes, you are. Okay. That's it. So, um... I like the opposing windows on both sides, too, for uh, that cross ventilation at night. Yes, they both open, so you'll get plenty of air in here. And let's move into the second bathroom. And here we have another toilet. Let's check that out. Oh, wait, so this has two full baths. Two full baths. Interesting. And it's not a bunk model. Interesting. Okay. Let's go into the shower. Now this is a shower. Look at this. I like this. Now I'm five six again, but this one I like. See, this is the adult shower. <laughs> so there's the fixtures are similar in this yes. one, and the step though I think it's not as high. It's not. It's not as high at all. No. Okay, why don't you show us? Oh, the cabinetry. The cabinetry yes. below the sink. Quite a bit of storage. And then you have three drawers on this side. I think they're the same size. Yeah, yeah. looks like they are. They are. And then you have some additional shelving here near the toilet. You do. You have shelving down there. You have lots of extra storage here. Oh, wow. Yes, they packed a lot of cabinets into this bathroom. And then finally, you have this one. And you might not have noticed, but something you might appreciate is they have two hooks here. As well as this. But I don't see a full towel rack. I guess those hooks are your towel rack. I guess that's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, John, that was a great tour. Thank you for taking us through this model. It's time for your pet peeve, Ooh. my favorite feature, and a build quality rating. All right, then. Let's do it. What's your pet peeve? You know, it's the same as it's been in the past. They haven't changed it. That step, getting into the, the first shower. It's a doozy. That's a big step. It's a huge step. I can see someone having a problem with it, especially you're talking a wet shower, wet floor. Something. Getting out. Yep. Falling down. Something. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, my favorite feature. I guess my favorite feature is how comfortable the passenger seat was. Those front seats were very It was very deceiving, but that, that front seat was extremely comfortable. It gives me a work area. It gives me a place to stow my stuff on the passenger side. So I have to say that's my, my favorite feature. So now we're going to go around with a fine tooth comb, pick out anything that we can see with the fit and finish of this RV, and we'll be right back with the build quality. Uh, I, I was looking at this backrest, and it Velcros, which is fine. They, a lot of them do that, but I noticed the strip on the other side came off with the Velcro on the seat. So that's something you'll have to maybe reinforce if you get one of these. I don't know if this is a problem, but let me show you this. The slide seal under here, uh, I see the slide is out, but this seal doesn't seem even. It seems like it's folded in, it's folded out, it's buckled. I don't know um, if that's a problem or not because I've never seen a seal like this on a slide. It looks like the seal issue continues into oh, it the does. bedroom here. So it's in, it's out, it's, oh It's no, all over it's, the place. It's all over the place. So I'm not sure if I would trust that seal too much. The desk on the passenger side was installed a bit crooked and it was loose. Of course, there's the seal thing, which I don't think is a minor issue. No? I don't know. You know, it's, it's hard to tell because these aren't completely level here, right? Right. But still, I, I don't like that and it really bothers me. <laughs> And now okay. I'm starting to rethink whether I'm an eight or a seven. I, I keep it eight. I mean, I don't know how the seal is supposed to work because we've never worked this slide, so I don't know. Yeah, inexpensive manufacturing, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, I'll go with John. Oh, wait a minute, John. Uh -oh. I think I'm seeing something else here what? that we missed. Let me double check. Oh, the seals between the, the wall panels. The wallpaper. The seams. <laughs> the seams and the wallpaper. I don't like that either. I'm just coming up with my reason to give it a 7, aren't I? You're trying. You're yeah. trying. All right, I'll go with John. We're going to do this one an 8 out of 10. And uh, that's it for this one. We're on to the next one. And for more RV reviews and tours, check out this video right there. Oh, no, I think it will be over there.